What's up guys, it's Avenger Place here, and today I want to talk to you guys about The Division. And, um, I'm going to be giving my opinion about how I think this game is right now, like this, you know, very state, or very moment in time. Um, so, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of things that are wrong with this game. A lot of things. And, um... I, I just want to, before I start, you know, giving my opinion about uh, the scheme or whatever it is that I'm, you know, well, not whatever it is, but what I'm going to tell you about the game, uh, just know I am only giving my opinion. Do not think this is actually going to happen. This is my opinion. And, you know, I have a right to my opinion. You also have your right to opinion. I mean... Really, if you have any, you know, if you want to leave a comment telling me what you think they should do, go ahead. Really, I would love to see what you have to say. I mean, it, it's your opinion. I want to know what what you think they should do, what Massive or Ubisoft should do f to the game. Uh, now, I don't think, really, not, I don't think um, they're going to do that much um, on the list that I have that's actually going to, uh, going to happen, um, but, you know, it, it's, it's always nice to get, you know, stuff like this out there, all right, so, um, and I'm not, I might be adding on more to my list, um, uh, I just, you know, I'm not really sure, depending on what goes on in the game, or, or what happens once we, uh, after August 2nd, um, so to start my list, I am going to be talking to you guys about the overheal, like the first aid overheal ability. Um, now, we all know what a skill bill is. We all know how overpowering sometimes a skill bill can be and how hard it is to kill a skill build. Now, I think they should nerf the overheal. I really think they need to cap the amount of how much over, overheal you can have on your setup. Because when you've got guys that are, you know, running with, like, I don't know how much, you know, toughness, like 500,000 toughness, and they have, like, 30,000 skill power, like, it's pretty hard to kill that guy. Like, it's almost impossible to kill that guy. Unless you put down, like, a shock turret or a, you know, or something like that. Um, and I really, I think that they should nerf it. Because it, it's, it really, it makes, and, it, and plus with the mitigation that we have right now for how long gunfights take. I mean, it, I really think that it should be maxed out at least, like, maybe 15,000 or 20,000 skill power. It really, it shouldn't bring you from just about to, like, one-shot kill to, like, full health plus full overheal. It just seems a bit ridiculous. Um, now, the next thing I want to talk about, the next thing on my list, is the running speed. Um, really, I think they should increase the running speed depending on what your stamina is. Like... The higher the stamina, um, well, actually, yeah, I would think the higher the stamina, the slower you go, and the lower the stamina you have, or actually, I, I'm not really sure how I want to explain this, like, you would think that having high, you know, stamina would make you run faster, but in, you know, in this game, it makes you have higher toughness, so, but I'm gonna go out and say it. Um, really, they uh, it should be, or I I think for the running speed, I think that they should make it the higher the um the um stamina that you have, the the slower you should go, and the lower amount of stamina that you have, the faster you'll go because it will compensate for if you let's say you have like. 250,000 toughness. I'm not saying that many people have that much toughness. Like, the rank that I'm at, that would be ridiculous to have. Um, but, um, 
it really it should be like I lost my train of thought. Like like what they should do is just you know do that because it would balance it out. I mean you you have a faster running speed but you have very low health. And then you have a slower speed, but you have much higher toughness. And I think it would make it a lot easier for guys that like to run as a rogue. It would make it a lot harder for people to do that. Um, so that that's the second thing on my list. Now, the third thing, this is everybody's huge just problem with the game. The AIs in this game are absolutely ridiculous. Now, a couple of people have been telling me that it's um, it's a percentage hit. like a, Well, not percentage hit, not those exact words, but it's like, you know, they do a certain amount of damage for a certain amount of percent, no matter what your toughness is. So... Um, really, it, it's the fact that they, they should have never messed with the Dark Zone, they should have never messed with the AIs, their AIs were completely balanced, you know, back when the game first came out, like, those were the golden days, back when the game was actually, you know, fun. Now the game is literally impossible to play, it is unbelievably difficult to do anything in the Dark Zone. So, but that, that was the third thing on my list this the um fourth thing on my list the sentry shotgun um build it is absolutely ridiculous i i think it has to be nerfed it, it actually is so ridiculous that you know like i would like some guy one shot at me, but you know he was on smart cover. But really, it, it's just it's ridiculous. You, I mean, either nerf the shotgun or nerf sentry again. Well, maybe don't nerf sentry. Maybe you should change sentry from you know the full instead of the five piece, it should be a three piece. So at least you know you have a chance to, or just lower the percentage. Don't don't give the full thirty percent. Just give like ten or twenty, or twenty five, but don't give thirty or or anything like that. Um. So yeah, that I just I think they should nerf it. It. I mean, there's no build to really match the shotgun. You know, the sentry shotgun build. It, it really there, there's nothing you can do. Once you're shot or marked by the sentry, you're dead. I mean, that's it. You're you're absolutely screwed once they mark you. Um, now, uh, the next, the fifth thing on my list is kind of like how the first one was with the over, nerfing the overheal. Um, cap most abilities. Um, now... I I really think they should cap the the smart cover for how people are using it. I really think that it's you know I get that you know if you have high skill power, people you know rely on those guys. But it you know they've got them they got to cap it sometime. Like you can't just have unlimited damage just coming through. You know, just like it's nothing. You know, like. It, I, I really think that they should do that, because I'm not, I mean, you know, if you have, you know, any things that uh, you think should also be caps, you know, leave them in the comments below. I mean, I, I really would love to see what you have to, uh, you know, to say about it, because, you know, we are a community. We want to, we want our game to succeed. You know, we are the ones playing it, not Massive. They're the ones who are making the patches. You know, they aren't really listening to us right now. They All they care about is money right now. And that's it. So, now, the next one is... I will admit that I do this 
But if they were to add something like this, um, I might be a little bit upset from it. But I also think that it should be, you know, it's it's whenever I'm, you know, doing it like against, you know, well not doing it, but like I'm going against other people that are, you know, going rogue. So I think they should get rid of neutral shielding, um, like neutral shielding a rogue. Like so, let's say you're running after a rogue. You know, you kill all of his teammates, and then there's one guy left. One guy that's going rogue, and he's running. And all of his teammates, you know, fast travel all the way up to where he is, or down, or wherever he is. And then they they go right in front of your shot. I really think that there should be a certain range you have to be with that person. Otherwise, you'll get a 19 second rogue status. Because it's... It's really stupid. I mean, I get this is a team-based game, but it is very annoying that people do that. It, it, literally, it's a rogue status. It's XP. It's money. Like, it's DZ funds. You can get it back. It's not like it's going to be gone forever. Everybody downranks themselves or loses, like, a ton of money. Like, you, you lose a ton of money when you, you know... When you go rogue sometimes, like, it, it really, you get it back. So why would it matter if you lose, you know? But then there's people that'll, you know, complain about, you know, that they're losing too much money because of this situation with the neutral shielding. But, I don't know, it just, um, this is really my list of what I think they should, you know, of the status of how I think this game is right now. And, um, really... Please tell me what you think should be on this list, or if you agree with my list. I really want to know what you guys have to say about it, because this is what I think. I'm letting you know at the end of the video, this is only my opinion. This is not going to happen. This is not happening. They are not making a patch for it. This is my opinion of the game, as of this moment okay so just don't think of it as anything else it's my opinion so um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching or listening to me because you know i i try to bring you guys some you know either my opinion or the latest news about the division so but this isn't news this is just my opinion um, but I uh, really hope that you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you guys in another video. See you later.